Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are in the flat abyss of Scrap Mechanic flat world, but we actually got something here, and that is a gear. Now, a gear is basically a me mechanism that when it spins, it can translate that into another gear, which can also spin, and it's usually used in order to translate smaller amounts of movements into larger ones or larger amounts of movement into smaller ones. I don't know the full extent of gears, but they're a pretty useful thing in mechanisms and they're usually used in stuff like clocks, uh, some are used in bicycles and stuff, and yeah, they're a pretty cool thing, but the reason we're looking at this today is because someone actually went ahead and used gears in Scrap Mechanic to go ahead and make, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, an actual clock. Holy cow, look at that. That is a clock. That is super cool. Now, this clock isn't exactly accurate with time because obviously a minute wouldn't go by that fast. Look how fast that second hand is spinning. But uh, this is about, it's more so about the idea and not the actual accuracy because this is still a really cool thing even though it's not fully accurate. It still has it so that when the second hand goes around, it causes the minute hand to move. And when the minute hand goes around, it causes the hour hand to move. This thing is the hour hand. It's moving so slow, you can barely see it. Just look at the thing. It's like, it's like inching away. It's just inching away. But, uh, yeah, this thing is actually looking really cool. Now, if we actually go ahead now. Oh, whoa. Look at that. That went, that went real fast. But if we can actually go back here, we can actually see the actual chaos that has caused this thing to work. Just look at this. This is absolute mayhem. How am I even gonna begin to explain this when I don't even fully understand it? <laughs> but uh, what's really cool about this is if we pull out our little tool here, we'll actually see there's like no actual connections at all in this. That's what makes this so cool. This whole entire thing is run off just one engine. That is it. Just a single engine is powering this entire thing, which is so cool because it uses the power of the gears to make all of this work. But uh, basically what happens is right here, the engine powers this little bearing right here to spin. It causes that first gear to start spinning. And now if we follow this blue line, we'll see where all of this spinning power goes. So basically it'll go from here to this big thing, which will then go through this here, which will make this thing move even slower. And then it'll end up going to this thing right here which will spin even slower and then it just it keeps following that blue line and that's how the gear mechanism works and based on all these other gears it makes it so that they spin slower and slower which makes it so that the uh, the minute hand will actually go a lot slower than the second hand I think the second hand right here is actually connected to this first one right here we'll see it right there right there that big thing spinning right up top that thing with a bunch of uh, suspension on it I think that's the second hand which is moving right there but all these little things here spinning slower and slower contribute to the minute hand spinning and the hour hand spinning but I don't know if you could fully grasp how that works it's pretty cool it takes advantage of the whole gear system that no one has really done much with which is really cool but what makes me think this is so cool is all those gears and it makes me start to think it started to make me think what else could we actually do with gears? Now, this here is super awesome, and I totally think it's awesome. And I even had the idea of doing this at one point with my friend Has Been Bad. We thought, hey, we could make a cuckoo clock, and every time an hour passed, we'd have a cuckoo bird pop out, and it would be so cool, which would be really neat. But this guy already did the whole clock idea, so I'm thinking maybe we want to try messing around with some more stuff that we can do with gears. So, I don't know, I was just thinking for a bit, and I was thinking maybe we could actually try and make some sort of a bike in Scrap Mechanic using gears. Now, I don't want to make anything too fancy, I more so just want to see if the concept is even possible. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to mess around with that for a bit, and I'll let you guys know if even if it's even possible. I just, I'm just coming up with this idea on the fly. This could, this could end up being a complete and utter catastrophe, but I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do with these gears, and see if we can make a bike of some sort. And I'll catch up with you guys in just a bit. Okay, so the task I signed up for was a bit harder than I imagined. <laughs> Basically what I did was I made this little thing here that was powered by 
the one engine powering this thing that would spin, which would spin this thing right above this wheel, which would then spin this wheel. Now, I'm I'm not good with this kind of stuff, so it's it's just breaking after <laughs> a centimeter of spinning, and I'm so sad because I want it to work. I want to be able to ride into the sunset with this thing, but I can't seem to figure out what is causing the problem. I was thinking maybe somehow these blocks here were causing it, but then you remove those, it's still not working. And maybe it was there. Oh, whoa. And then it breaks again. And then it's like, now what's the problem? Can't figure it out. Oh, then now this, this, this gear here isn't working. And it's just, ah, I want my little, I want my little car to work, man. I want my little, my little bike to work. It's not working out too well, guys. This is, it's not working out too well. <laughs> but maybe with a little bit more finagling, I can, I can make it at least roll that's that's my goal for today guys just to get it roll it doesn't need a turn it doesn't need to go fast it just needs to roll so let's get this to work <laughs> i present to you my bicycle it's brilliant isn't it it's probably the best bicycle that you've ever seen you'll be able to drive miles and miles without on this thing without even taking a stop it'll be so great oh my god guys <laughs> My entire bike here, I could not get it to work for the life of me, so I decided to start over and try and make it in a different way that was more reasonable, and oh my god, now this is the mess I have. <laughs> Why am I so bad? My goodness. So basically, I decided that I wanted to try again to actually get the use out of a bicycle of what they are, which is basically, when you have a bicycle, you pedal these big gears right here, and it'll translate to a smaller gear like this so that it when this thing spins once this little thing is actually spinning tons and tons of times so that it actually change your bike and how it works now I thought that would be cool but the problem I'm having now is that this wheel isn't just big enough so actually if we go ahead and maybe make this thing a bit bigger but leave the actual things that it's spinning which are right here in that same location this actually might not be too bad of an idea. The one problem, though, is the fact that uh, this thing, I, I, need, I don't really know how to keep it from falling over. It's kind of just a giant hunk of wood that uh, is just a, it's just a catastrophe. This, that's what this is. This is just a, this is just a giant catastrophe. It just falls over instantly. I don't really know what I need to do to fix that, but hopefully I'll be able to come up with something. But uh, I'm thinking if we can go ahead and extend this over here and just build the same type of wheel over here. The problem I'm having though is that uh, maybe if we do this, this might actually work if we go ahead and just add it like here. So we'll have the same wheel on same both sides. Uh, hmm. This is still lopsided. Whatever. I'm going to do some more finagling and hopefully we can at least get this thing to stand up while it rolls. That is all we need. I kid you guys not, that is all we need. We just need this thing to stand up and roll. That is all I need out of this and then I'll be good. So I'm gonna get back to it. And hopefully, hopefully, this will be the last time we cut and that this works. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the wonder trike. <laughs> I think I've done it guys, I think I've done it. I basically set up two of these little things on the side, both of these gears that would power the two front wheels, and then I just put these ones on back for the balancing, so it's kind of a tricycle because there's two wheels on back and one on the front, but if we go ahead and we hop up here, oh my goodness, it's the wonder trike, my goodness, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever ridden my entire life. <laughs> Holy cow, I love this thing so much, but oh my gosh, just looking at all the junk scattered around here Look at how many times I've tried to get this thing to work all around here. There's junking. There's junk everywhere But um, oh my god, it was worth it It was so worth it and actually if we go ahead and press backwards We can go in reverse in our thing too, which is super cool And I imagine if we were to go ahead and actually add some turning to the back wheels uh, This would totally be able to turn as well and maybe we should even do that right now, actually. That probably wouldn't be too hard. All you'd have to do is just go ahead and grab some pipes, some bearings, and get it done pretty quickly. I don't think it'll be too hard at all. What did I need to grab? I also need to grab us 
We've got the tires, the pipes, we needed some blocks. Okay, so after we've got that, we should have everything we need. Just knock off these. Who cares about tires anyways? No biggie, right? But nah, we should be able to just simply enough add uh, right here. Just go ahead and add another layer to this thing right here. And then we'll be able to put these tires that can turn on the edges, which will be awesome. That'll work perfectly right there. Actually, no, we want to have this there. Awesome. And then we can actually go ahead and add these pipes. Now, this might just be another catastrophe, but I think this will work perfectly fine. Just like that. And oh, wait, now that tire is way too high. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. We got to go ahead and actually probably do it underneath. I wonder, will that work as well? I've never, I've never, ooh, no, we don't want that over there. I've never actually had these things like this before i've never actually put turning underneath a vehicle so this could just this could just end up being a complete and utter catastrophe like my fingers are crossed here because i don't want everyone in this world to just immediately explode when i try to get this thing to work because i put some good work in here i don't want the world to explode you know it's it's a reasonable hope i think at least but okay we got the last one going on here and just one more bearing for the tire there we go and now all we should need to do is hook up both of these to the seat and then they look good let's give this a shot got our wonder trike going and now we can turn holy moly look at that that is this is a work of art that is what this is this is a this is a work of art and then we can go in reverse as well boop, 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 boop. <laughs> What's amazing about this too though is I haven't even turned up the engine at all. Look how low that engine is! Oh my god, this is gonna kill us. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. You guys ready? You ready for this? Woohoo! <laughs> Look at the raw wonder trike go! The wonder trike! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is brilliant. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Never mind, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. We're good. Holy moly, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> it can even go faster. Holy moly. Let's go ahead and make it go even faster. Let's see what can we do here. Oh my god. Full speed. Full speed, everyone. You ready for full speed? And keep in mind, this is still with only a an engine, an electric engine. The 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 other engines are actually even faster, the regular gas ones, but let's give this a go. Woohoo! <laughs> Holy crap! This is so smooth in all honesty. I thought this would be so much less reliable, but this is going so well. Woo! <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love it. This is really awesome. This is really awesome. Let's just coast by our other thing right here. The first, uh, the first mess up. Oh no, we're crashing into it. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, we're good. And we're back to it. Oh, no, no. Back and just keep on crashing. That's exactly what you want to do. That's exactly what you want to do. No, no. Now, come on, just nope, nope. Oh my god! This thing is, it's flawless. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Okay, there we go. We got past it. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. I love it. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love it. It's super awesome. It actually works really similar to a bike. These, if we put, actually, if this were a real bike, you basically have your pedals right there and then you'd basically pump that pedal around and that would be causing our tires to spin so this is this is really similar to a bike which is why i'm really liking how this thing turned out super duper cool although i wish this thing could spin as easy as an actual tire Ooh, maybe we should have actually used regular tires maybe that would have been a good idea maybe we could have put blocks on it to make it work like that that might have uh never mind that was totally not possible nope 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 <laughs> <laughs> that probably should have been exactly what I should have done, but there we go. I think it came out really awesome I really like how it came out guys, but uh, one last thing I want to do Before we actually leave is I want to see what would happen if we were to link up an actual engine a full-blown engine All the way up to this thing Now I don't I don't know we might just die straight up So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I want to see how we go. So three two one Last off. Oh. This is this isn't going as I had hoped. Oh wait, shoot. No, that's what's wrong. Uh I didn't switch uh what that one was switched to. Okay, that should be better now. now let's actually put it back up on another left so it'll even out everything. There we go. Looking good. Let's give it a go. Woo! Holy crap. Just look at that speed. Oh my goodness. 
That is just some crazy speed, guys. We're going like Mach 5. We're going like super speed. We're going like we're breaking the sound barrier at this rate. Holy moly. Holy moly, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> but, uh, you guys, I think that's where we're going to call for today. I really like how this thing came out, but I think this is all we have for you today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It is much appreciated. But also leave me some comments. I want to know what you guys thought about this. I think it came out really cool, and I definitely would like to hear what you have to say about it. But uh, if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links are in the description, as well as on the top of the screen right now. But, oh, my God. For now, this is what we're going to call it. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Woo! I couldn't go without giving Super Trike a paint job. Look at that. Now it is perfect. Nothing could further improve Super Trike. Woo!